Yo, what's up? I'm Tommy Gothic. I'm a musician and a producer, and I make sad music about girls that broke my heart. Well, in high school, I got real obsessed with dubstep and electronic music and started going to shows or raves or whatever you want to call them. I don't know, I really enjoyed the feeling that like live electronic music gave me, so I started making dubstep and switched over to more chill trap stuff after like a year or two of that and uh that was going pretty well and then i kind of just got hooked on like the emo rap little peep stuff so i said fuck it why don't i just like i can already make beats and instrumentals so i might as well like you know try to throw some vocals on it and i had a lot of fun with it so I just did that for a while now. I am where I am. Honestly, it's mostly electronic artists. Like, I really like Mr. Carmack. His production's just insane. Like, super experimental, but like clean at the same time. Uh, Eprom too. Eprom's sick. If any of you don't listen to Eprom, check him out. Like right now, he's crazy. I know it's super cliche, but Lil Peep, rest in peace. Honestly, 49 Bags, he's kind of he's kind of smaller, but like, I love his music. Um, yeah, I don't know, I guess that's it. My favorite song that's out, honestly, it's a competition between Dirty Sweater and I Forgot, and So Perfect. I don't know, but I like all my music, but those are the top three. I don't even know. It involves drugs. Can I talk about drugs? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Originally, when I started making like cloud rap stuff, I guess you could call it, it was it was ten dollars sunglasses, and I thought that was too long, so I changed it to ten dollars shades, because I originally made more like hype rap where I'd like I'd rap about like designer clothes and like ice and and drugs, and then I kind of I stopped feeling that. Cause I got my heart broken. So all my music started being about girls and like past relationships and like hookups and stuff. So I needed a name that was more cute. And one day I was like, I was doing a bunch of, I was doing a bunch of <laughs> And I was just in my room trying to think of names and Tamagothic came in my head. And for whatever reason, the second I thought of Tamagothic, it just like wouldn't, I couldn't stop saying it in my head. So like uh, maybe a week later, I made some artwork for it and just changed all my socials to Tomagothic. It was like nothing crazy, just kind of came to that. If I'm thinking like top of the top, like high tier artist, it'd be Joji, like Ray Brown. Um, who else? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know, I haven't thought about that. It's too far in the future. <laughs> That's like a classic one. Um, well, I'm definitely marrying up a wine free because she has the most money. I'm killing Betty White. I'm sorry, Betty White. I love you, but like, I know Whoopi is gonna go crazy in the bedroom, so I'm fucking Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the first like 18 years of my life, I basically didn't care at all what I looked like in public. And then when I got to college, I was like, shit, I have to get, I have to convince girls to like me. So I started, like I started shopping at H&M, like a, like a normie, bro, like a fucking normie. And um, <laughs> kind of just looked like a normie for a while. And then when the whole like, like, I don't know, Sounds corny, but like the whole goth boy like emo scene like blew up again like the past few years. I just really fell in love with that style, so um, I take a lot from that. Obviously, with the facial piercings and like colored hair and shit. Um, and then I don't know. I kind of I like to mix uh, like that the goth emo kind of aesthetic with just like Jersey street fashion. If that makes sense. So that's where it comes from. I kind of just lurk Instagram and try to get fit ideas and then like mix and match my favorite um, like content creators on Instagram's bits together. You know, 
I mean, my favorite cereal is fucking the Eggo cereal. That shit, that, Eggos. That shit is gas. There's Eggo cereal. If you've never had the Eggo cereal, go get that right now. Go to shop right. Go to your local shop right, or a grocery store and get Eggo's waffle cereal. It's like honeycombs, but if they just poured, if they just blend. <laughs> It's like, it's like honeycombs, but they blended Jesus up and just poured him on top of it. That's what they're like. It's my favorite one. Oh, fuck that duck. You fight the poor sized duck? Yeah, we... You're out of your mind, bro. Can't even ride them. No. <laughs> A horse sized duck? You know how scary that would be? You wouldn't try to ride that? No, it wants to kill you. You can't ride. Why does it want to kill you? It's you a can't. Duck. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a hypothetical situation. <laughs> it's going to try to kill you no matter what. It's untamable. Oh, fuck. And it's like this fucking big. 100 duck sized horses. I'll kick 10 of them in one swoop. I got long legs. 10 of them. A tenth of them gone in one kick. <laughs> Bro, I'm knocking out some fourth graders, so. though. I'm swinging on some fourth graders. <laughs> Dude, a fourth grader? <laughs> what are they gonna do to me? Oh, fourth, I don't care. I'll fight a thousand fourth graders. They won't get anywhere near me. Yeah, dude. I'll be like, I won't even have, I'll close my eyes and still win. My favorite Pokemon, Haunter. And then, just that whole evolution chain bro is so hard, honestly. Love Haunter, love Gengar, love Ghastly. I already know. I, yeah, I haven't played Sword and Shield, and I don't plan on it just because... Bro, they look so low effort to me, like, I expect more out of Nintendo. I just, I could get into it, but just, they, they look low effort. Like, not to be that guy, but they took all the po like half the Pokemon out of the decks. So, like, I won't even feel accomplished if I complete the decks because it, I didn't really do it. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Fuck Pokemon Sword and Shield. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Tomagothic underscore. Uh, SoundCloud is just Tomagothic. And then Twitter. It's time I think to you, but my handle is by fake designer. I should probably change that, but right now that's what it is. Thank you.